Hey yeah, there YouTube, it's All Things Sharp here again. Uh, got a knife for all you hunters out there, for you today. Uh, this is the EKA uh, G3 Swing Blade. Now this is the uh, updated version of the original Swing Blade design. Basically still, still using the same materials, um, just a slightly different, uh, a slightly different design. So, it still uses the Sandvik 12C27 steel in a drop point blade design. And that's for the hunting blade. The, the uh, other secondary blade is the uh, unzipper blade, uh, which I'll show you in a moment. The blade length is 102 millimeters from 3 millimeter stock. And that's the uh, main blade. And the length is 216 millimeters and it weighs in at 134 grams. The handles are from a polymer, very nicely textured, very grippy. And the sheath, as you can see, is uh, nylon. <clears throat> we'll just have a quick look at the sheath first. Um, it's a good sheath. It, uh, I actually prefer things like nylon out in the field because you can wash it a lot easier better than leather the uh, pocket clip here um, as you can see here has this back uh, loop here which stops it falling off um, it does very effective you can take um, all sizes of, of belt there um, I've just put a couple of range bands so I can Usually stick a lighter there or some uh, maybe a, a field sharpener. Um, usually I stick the uh, SOG field sharpener. It's very uh, really handy, very lightweight. Might do a quick. I think there's there's loads of reviews of, of that online. Very handy. Um, so usually stick that under the range bands. Yeah. So we've got a. Um, push button uh, thumb stud there. It holds the blade very very securely. And uh, let's take a look at the knife shall we? So yeah, uh, very good sheath, very functional and very lightweight as well. I'll put that to one side. And here we have the, the knife in the I'd say main blade um, open position. So what they've done basically is slightly altered the the handle shape, added here the lanyard hole, yes every slightly changed the design but pretty much same materials and, and all that. The uh, So here's the, um, the blade shape, very nice belly, perfect for hunting good amount of belly on that blade. It's come very sharp actually from the factory. EK have done a a great job there. Uh, it's a Swedish company. They've done, uh, they make some great knives. Very affordable. The uh, Here's a close-up of the handle. I got the, uh, it comes in a few different colors. I got the orange because uh, you know, as I've said before in a previous video, you know when you're out in the woods it's uh, it's good to have something highly visible to see or to find it, you know, find it in a backpack or yeah, I like uh, visible colors. Um, this is, uh, it's a poly it feels very rubbery, very very good um, texturing and, and grip on the handle. It's, uh, I'm not sure if you'd say maybe a, like a wood grain finish here anyway. And then here, slightly, uh, well, I don't know, it's, it, it works anyway, very functional, very grippy. Here's yeah, the uh, lanyard loop. This is made out of a hard, um, a hard plastic set in the back there. The reverse side is, uh, is just the same. So the profile. 
There's no particular swell in the middle. It's pretty much the same from uh, top to bottom there. And the reverse side here. There's a good uh, finger choil for placement there and a, a groove for the thumb. And it's extremely comfortable. Um, you know, you need a, a comfortable knife when you're using this for prolonged periods. Really excellent, uh, excellent knife in in all in all positions. Um, yeah, they've uh, they've done a great job, at EKA. They've put a lot of thought into this knife. Very very comfortable. There's no jimping here on the back, but because it uh, because it goes in here, you get a really good purchase. Really really good. Very comfortable. So um, I guess you're wondering how the swing blade works. Um, that's basically just this button here on the handle and you push this in and the blade swings which I'll show you in a second. So push that in and the unzipper comes out. So essentially that's what uh, that's what they've made is a piece of metal uh, here, blade on one side, blade on the reverse, handle fixed in the middle and then we simply just push this back here and that's locked in place now. Even though the blade sticks out in this much, uh, in this portion, it, uh, it's still comfortable in hand. You, uh, you don't use the, uh, the unzipper for prolonged periods so it's, it's not going to make any difference in terms of uh, comfort. This does however have jimping on the uh, in the thumb position right there. Very effective jimping. Again very well thought out. Uh, this unzipper is extremely sharp. It's it's as thin as a it's like a razor, a flat razor, a straight razor, sorry. Really, really sharp with a uh, rounded tip, so the, there's no um, um, there's no risk of puncturing through the uh, the skin. Very useful to have in the field. Saves the uh, main blade from being uh, overused, and uh, this gets extremely sharp. It's because of the curvature. Um, I use the uh, Spyderco Sharp Maker on it, um, but yeah, it's come extremely sharp from the factory. And uh, yeah, there you go. So you know, unzip the animal. You have to be a bit careful that you don't pull this back on your on your hand, obviously. But uh, yeah, just um, pull it back into position. It locks, and you're back to the main blade. Really excellent design. I forget the exact price on this. Um, it's very affordable and um, very, very useful for, uh, for hunters. I think it's uh, in Europe it's running around 50, 55 euros, I believe. Um, and you get a whole lot of knife for that, I, I think. Very, a very functional knife. You, know, you might not be getting the, uh, uh, the high, highest quality steel and, you know, handle materials and, and all that that you can show off to all the other hunting buddies, but uh, this is definitely functional. It's designed uh, by hunters for hunters and uh, you can really tell when you get it in hand.
highly recommend this knife if you're looking for an affordable hunting knife. Yeah, I mean, even for fishing as well, it can be used uh, for that purpose. Um, but yeah, great, great knife from EKA. So if you've uh, got any comments or questions about it, I'd love to hear them. And uh, once again, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you soon.